For this week's reviews, I decided to do something a little different and talk about a movie that has fascinated me since it was revealed a few years ago. And that is the live-action movie based on Walter Lance's iconic cartoon character, Woody Woodpecker. Now, there was a time before Minions and before Fievel when Woody Woodpecker was Universal's official cartoon mascot. And yet, despite being an important part of the studio's history, he's been rather neglected over the past number of years. Outside of occasional appearances at the Universal Studios theme parks, his last major role was in the late 90s, early 2000s Saturday morning cartoon with Billy West as Woody. A number of years ago, Universal announced Illumination would be producing an animated Woody Woodpecker movie, and it sounded really promising. Eek the Cat creator Bill Kopp was signed on to direct, and his plan was to do it as an anthology film connected by a series of shorts, rather than telling a feature-length story. But that appears to be cancelled, or at the very least shelved. The reason the live-action Woody Woodpecker movie exists is because Universal found out the character is really popular in Brazil, mostly attributed to the cartoons being frequently rerun on network television. So they assigned their directive video unit to make a movie that would be given a theatrical release in Brazil, but go straight to DVD and streaming in the rest of the world. Now, when Warner Brothers discovered that the Hanna-Barbera cartoon Top Cat was beloved in Mexico, they actually licensed the character to a Mexican animation studio, and that movie was directed, produced, and animated by Mexicans, although the script was written by Americans. The Woody Woodpecker movie, despite being made to appeal to Brazilians, was written and filmed in English by an American director in Canada, and then it was dubbed into Portuguese for the audience it was specifically made to cater to. They did cast a Brazilian actress to play the girlfriend of Timothy Omenson's character, and you can see product placement for Havaiana sandals in one scene. There's a plot point where Woody is bribed so that he can allow Omenson to keep building in his forest, which I guess is supposed to be evocative of the Petrobras scandal? Beyond the curious reason for this movie's existence, what did I think of the film itself? I thought it was... average. I know a lot of people have slammed this movie, but I have to be honest and say, I didn't hate it. A large reason for this is Woody himself. I thought the animators did a pretty good job of bringing him to life, although they could have incorporated him into the live-action environments a little better. While they use his more familiar later design, I like how the filmmakers had Woody revert back to his more psychotic early 1940s personality. And Eric Bowser does a pretty good job with the voice, providing quite a few humorous lines. Although I could have done with less poop and fart jokes. I also thought Timothy Omenson got some funny one-liners in there, and he did decently with the physical comedy as he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Woody. Where the movie somewhat falters is the story. The human characters are not all that interesting, and it's hard to get behind Omenson when he wants to build this monstrosity in the woods. His son has a subplot where he forms a rock band, and I wondered why we were supposed to care. The central villains consist of this pair of bumbling taxidermists, and they're so stupid, it's amazing they're able to accomplish anything. The ranger character is somewhat superfluous, and the movie contains quite a bit of padding to get it up to a 90 minute runtime. The filmmakers must have looked at the final cut and realized they just fell short of their desired length, because they added a classic Woody Woodpecker cartoon after the credits. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, because I always appreciate a bonus cartoon. The film also makes the odd decision of having the camera zoom in at multiple points. Our attention is already on the animated flying bird. You don't need to emphasize them even more. Overall, the Woody Woodpecker movie is just your standard, middle-of-the-road, live-action adaptation of a classic cartoon. Take out some of the more low-brow jokes, and this would have been a more than respectable take on the character. Even Woody's constant pecking, keeping Omenson up at night, feels like a direct homage to what inspired Walter Lance to create the character in the first place. I'd say watch it for yourself and see where you stand on it. Thanks for watching this week's reviews, and I'll see you next time.